leaf war case. It's much worse than we thought. Free leaf, man. Ten losses and they still drop. Try and beef with us, they need to worry about they real eyes. Bro be out here walking shit down, he think he Jill Scott. I can find out where your bitch they at and get the real spot. Talking about he heavy, he just look like rich shooters. Big bro got them bees and he could cook right. You may or may not know already, popular Philly rapper Leaf Ward has been arrested and charged with a slew of charges. You ain't getting money like we getting, so we ops. I'ma catch me when my drop will call me with them drops. When we bounce, this shit gonna take us three minutes top. West Philly rapper Leaf Ward was arrested out King of Prussia Mall. Apparently, he got arrested. He got caught in a stolen car with the gun. With the drugs. While intoxicated? I think it was every, all the worst shit. <laughs> I think it was, I don't know what it was. And pills? Yeah, so I think it was everything. I'm rich as shit, tell Danny, bust me down again. My shorty put some on the 40, I bought him a pound again. Innocent and you ain't in this shit. Leaf, like, niggas like Leaf can't fall off. It's like, bro, the street's gonna love you forever. Leaf been doing this shit for a minute. I'm around him, then he jerking while he slipping, blicking. That's the shit they found him. So a rapper that goes by the name of Leaf Ward actually took a girl on a date, but he took on a date inside of a stolen car. The car wasn't his. Now, what tipped the police off was the fact that he was actually driving a car, and they've got these cameras actually set up, and they, can they got police cameras around most of the hoods. So what the cameras do, if somebody reports a car stolen, the cameras will, like, send a tip, like, hey, I just saw this car here. You know, it's at this place. It's heading here. So it's like an automated system that actually does it. They tipped it off, and they went to where the car was at into a rest buddy and while he was at having drinks with the lady he ended up like running through the restaurant recently yeah what was going on with that Billy Billboard posted a picture of 12 rappers currently locked up damn G12 in jail Leaf in jail Tylee in jail Bucks in jail so I decided to make a video Every all the street. FM in the jail, damn. Explaining why they are all sitting down. Hop out down at the moment. Since Leaf Ward was the first in the picture on there, I started with him. Now I covered when Leaf Bill and Jeff Damn, this is crazy. First got arrested last August, but I hadn't looked into it since then. And there seems to have been a few developments that I wasn't aware of until a few days ago. Yo. Before we get into the major update, let's just start fresh for those who aren't completely up to date on Leaf Ward. Look, stay out these streets. Y'all idols are arrested. Please, stay out these streets. Stay out these streets. I don't want y'all arrested, man. The same shit, but, but, but I'm never going to change shit. I got, got so used to this pain shit. With money was coming in faster. I'm a trapper. No, no, I'm not a rapper. Still fucking these hoes on my name. She don't get a thing from me, but ass. If I knew the day is coming with the flame, all my homies crossed over. Man, I done lost soldiers. Bad dope got the fiends checking out, man. I done lost smokers. I don't see no progress. I feel like I'm going to die next. We get tired of the streets, so but I'm going to move about the project. Got my brother. He used to run shit, least whole style change in 2019. He was rapping about the struggle up until this point, 2019, and after it was all drill and ops all the time. No, at the end of the day, when it's sad and done, who's standing up? I can't argue with niggas who keep getting plucked off. Help your man get up. They know I'm. <laughs> I can't argue with niggas who getting plucked off. Help your man's up. Right, you used to bump leaf. I still bump leaf, nigga. I think uh, core is my number one for sure, always. Uh, Kwani and uh, leaf are not leaving that 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 top five. Kwani, leaf, and core can't leave. Ah, uh, Kwani can leave it. He do some weird shit sometimes, but. Core, core and Leaf can't leave my top five. Money stack like halftime of the football game. The bands is up. You know this shit getting real when they copping out. They ain't staying a chance with us. These niggas be playing. Tell them go home and bag it up. I'm strapped down. I'm tatted up. and dead. Niggas mad at us. Niggas still living. Drop call it off. They had it up. This shit give me a rush. Fuck him. He ain't one of us. Shorty got 40 on it. He said he don't want to fuck. I'm through 
threw 14 shots, only hit me once in my hand. Them niggas was missing. They know they fucked up, they supposed to walk me down. They did, cause niggas was bitching. <laughs> he be spitting, he be spitting, bro. I wish these, bro, once y'all get hot, y'all gotta leave. One thing about Kwani. One thing about Kwani. Y'all don't know it yet, and I'm going to give him his props. I think he is the smartest rapper. If you honestly think this nigga still in the trenches, you're dumb, and he shouldn't be. He made it. What he got to be there for? To prove what? That he's a street nigga? He lived there all his life. Catch him in the old videos. It's documented. He's not in there no more. He, he, he travel. He do what he got to do for his features. Only thing I would say is drop your fucking music. But besides that, bro, he's smart, bro. He going to rap his shit. And he gonna talk his shit, but you talk your shit from somewhere else. Don't get locked up. Don't be still doing this street shit. You feel me? Like, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave, 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 leave. Leave. Hey, send a little suit back to the youth. I ain't saying too much, but niggas was snitching. I know it ran in the camp because bro allergic to him and niggas was itching. Gun the nigga was switching. Little bro always been by the Every time one of my niggas got hit a drop, they know what we did about it. I got them killers around me from young to old and don't know gun get sold. Little bro crazy, he go slide for nothing. He don't want his gun get cold. I keep my young nigga close, put him under my wings. We talk. My mom know I'm a demon. It ain't nothing she can do. But pray for me. I go to court and I ain't got talk. Shock no just with the say They for me. And most of these Philly rappers, when they say they not signed, they mean they not signed to a major. They do distro deals. I'm gonna put them out there, man. Distribution deals for money. He's out the way for me. Right, just asking, do you pick and choose? No where shit, just ask how you feel on YBC Duel, people that beef with CCL, MD Drop. Yeah, I don't know about who's beefing with who, but I don't pick and choose nothing. I like music that I like. I think if somebody drop, somebody from Philly drops some hot shit, I'm bumping it. I don't care who you is, what you got going on. And I feel like if you put me in the middle of that, then it's just fuck you. Because I have nothing to do with nobody. If I see any nigga that's beefing with any nigga, what's up? I'm Rod, who doing his shit, and you are whatever your name doing your shit. There you go. Born in April of 1997, Beef Ward has been a mainstay in the topic of rap and hip-hop in Philadelphia. He started his musical journey in 2018 so and has blessed us with albums like On My Own, Stuck in the Trenches, Volume 1, and Stuck in the Trenches, Volume 2. Recently, however, Leaf has fallen into the rapper Death Trap and potential career killer getting locked up. Leaf has been endorsed or co-signed by pretty much every rapper in the city that isn't his op. <laughs> that isn't his op. In August of 2023, the Philadelphia Inquirer reported that Upper Marion Township police arrested 26-year-old rapper at a restaurant next to the King of Prussia Mall. The latest in a series of jailings of drill stars that have shaken the scene's fan base. Ward was charged with three felonies. Court records. What's crazy is these rappers that get locked up, the only rappers that's locked up is the ones that got caught slash the one. No, I'm sorry. The only rappers that's locked up is the ones who really live in what they're saying actively. If you previously did it, you did it at any point in your life, go ahead and rap about it. But the only rappers locked up is the ones who's, who actively do it. And it's crazy because you catch them and you lock them up because they got a gun, but they need a gun because they talk they talk they shit and they gotta back themselves up. They don't got a gun, they gonna get they gonna get done. You feel me? So it's like now by beefing with people and, and getting into this, you put yourself in a situation where you need a firearm on you at all times. And y'all don't have gun license. So you dick your life from the rip. 
because you put yourself in a situation where even if you don't have that gun, you're going to die. So that's why you either die or go to jail because beefing puts you in a situation where somebody wants to kill you. And the only way to defend yourself is to try to kill him first. So you, you start playing a war zone match uh, in Philly. You start, a, you start a war zone match. And it's no winning because the only way to win is to, to truly be free. You can't truly be free while you're in an active match. The game never stops. So it's just a lose-lose. Even if it's a battle royale, it is. It's them and them homies versus me and my homies. Open world. Whoever catch each other first. It's crazy. Show, including possessing a firearm that he was barred from owning because of a prior felony conviction. He was also charged with evading and resisting arrest, recklessly endangering another person. Damn, and he invaded them when they tried to lock him up. And he had that girl with her, so they charged him with endangering another person. And provide a false identification of law. And he gave him a fake name. Ah. Enforcement and several drug-related misdemeanors. They hit him with the book. Mm. He's being held in a Montgomery County Correctional Facility on a hundred and fifty thousand dollars bill. Up America, a hundred and fifty thousand. You my man, bro. Everybody's so rich. Somebody pay this nigga's bill. You know what's crazy? You can get hit with all of that and still get a bell. They want us to fail. They want us to fail. They want us to fail because if they truly felt like he was a risk to the streets and he could kill people and, and everything was so bad, they would have just booked him. No bail. They will let you pay and let them get out. So they could get you again. They money hungry. They don't give a fuck about us. I hate the system, bro. They want niggas to kill each other, and they want niggas, you feel me? They want the weird shit. Police said they'd been tipped off by surveillance cameras that a black Dodge Challenger reported stolen in Philadelphia in July was traveling towards a restaurant driven by Leaf Ward. According to the report, Ward was drinking at the bar with a woman when police called a tow truck to remove the vehicle. Noticing the commotion, Leaf went outside, saw the officers, and ran back inside the restaurant. After dashing through the kitchen and ditching a black Glock 40 caliber handgun with an extended magazine, Ward was ordered to the ground at Taser Point, police said. Leaf got arrested at my job, Bahama Breeze and King of Pressure, laughing emojis. POV, you work at Bahama Breeze. People make jokes about everything. Black people piss me off. Leaf Ward allegedly told police that his what are you laughing for? Name was Omar Washington. Officers say they recovered a plastic pill bottle labeled Bum Feet from the Challenger, as well as a white plastic bag that police say resembled MDMA and ecstasy. Leaf War had numerous active arrest warrants sworn out against them, according to police, including one from the state attorney general's office for oh felony weapons gosh. offenses. Now, oh. this is all court and the police, so take that for what it's worth. And as far as I know, he's that was where we were at. But like I said, when I started researching this vid, I found out Leaf was in more trouble than I initially thought. In 2021, he was arrested and charges from that case just say materially false written statement and also purchase, delivery, or transfer of a firearm, penalties for sale of a firearm. He was selling guns, transferring, delivering, and purchasing guns, and he gave them a false statement because most likely he ain't snitch. And a conspiracy charge. And a conspiracy. And this from 2021. They trying to hit him with everything. Damn, Leaf. So I'm not really sure what exactly that is besides being caught with a gun and lying to the cops. I also saw that this gun case from 2021 was connected to Nooski, who was just sentenced to like 40 or 50 years on a murder Whoa. case. 
these is babies. He was only 15 years old. He ain't even start to live his life yet. Homicide detectives are looking at that video. They're also trying to identify the vehicle that was used in last night's shooting. Yeah, he ain't coming home. The news media in Philadelphia at that time were pointing out the fact that murder victims were getting younger and younger. Numerous news stories and articles were written about this killing. To hear Smiley tell it, shooting people was something of a pastime for him and his friends in South Philly. Week after week, sometimes day after day, Smiley said him and his crew from 31st Street would fall into a familiar routine. They'd steal a car, hop in with guns that they all shared, and then go looking for young boys from 27th Street to shoot. Some Damn, snitching is one thing, but putting your whole hood under the dirt by... Damn. Y'all stole whips, hopped in them, and looked for niggas from the ops block and just killed them. Damn, bro. Sometimes, he said, when they couldn't find people from 27th Street, they'd look for people who lived around the nearby Wilson Park apartments. The site they was terrorizing people. Echo of violence, sometimes chronicled on Instagram. And by the time investigators caught up with Smiley or Nassim Smith in 2019, he confessed to a staggering array of crimes wrote Chris Palmer on June 25th, 2023, in an article for the Philadelphia Inquirer. The defendants, Hanif Wilkins, or Nooski, or Nunu, 22, and Yamin Mofil, or Lil Su, 21, were convicted of third-degree murder and related crimes back in June, largely due to the testimony of Smiley, who spoke in a quiet, disconnected tone from the witness stand and wore a surgical mask that covered nearly his entire face in shame. He said Nooski and Lil Sue, who, like him, were associated with 31st Street, told him that... Yo, Philly is really dangerous, y'all. I'm in disbelief, right? Now. It's just crazy. They killed Rasul Benson because they were targeting people from 27th Street who were also at the station pumping gas that night. Separate from that, I also saw a sealed grand jury indictment was filed, and that really piqued my interest. Did Leaf just get indicted with Tasker and all of them? So I did some asking around, and someone let me know that, yes, Leaf was locked up in federal prison. The feds picked up Leaf, the feds picked Leaf case up because he had a switch on his Glock. Same situation as Diamond Street FM. How sure are you? Because his docket said he charged with the conspiracy that a civil grand jury indicted was filed. Trust me, bro. Events have sources he tampered with the weapon, hence the switch. Leaf don't make any. Molly didn't tell on him. He told on the killers. That's what the cops want. Damn. Niggas, this is. This shit is too much. I wouldn't near feel comfortable doing all this shit prison yes he was indicted by a grand jury but fortunately for leaf or unfortunately depending on how you look at it the indictment only says he was in violation of sections 922 o and 922 g and for those that don't know 922 g according to cortez law says 922 g creates a list of people who cannot hold or own a firearm if you're on a 922G list, then it is a crime for you to possess a gun. The list of people includes felons, which would apply to Leaf, obviously, fugitives, drug addicts, people who are not mentally competent, non-citizens, veterans dishonorably charged from service, anyone who gives up their U.S. citizenship, stalkers or people with restraining orders, or anyone convicted of a misdemeanor crime of violence in certain circumstances. Long story short, if you're on a list, then you cannot hold or own a gun. So fuck being a regular person without a gun license. You're on a list of people who not allowed to have one at all. You are not allowed to possess a, possess a firearm ever. And his name is on that list. Damn.
gun. If you do, then you could be charged with a federal 922G gun crime. Allegedly, Leaf also got caught with a switch as a felon, which I believe is where the 922O comes in. Any lawyers in the comments can correct me. I'm not I'm not the best with law interpretations and what exactly this charge means and that charge means. But apparently it has something to do with the extended magazine or maybe it had a button on it. But in any case, the feds picked this case up, which nine times out of 10, more than nine times out of 10, is not good. And sometimes the federal sentencing guidelines can be complicated, so it's hard to predict how much time Leaf will do behind this. I know it's hard for some people to believe, but I don't like seeing the people I cover in prison. I want Leaf and Lil Bucks and Hood Tally and most of the people on this list, except for the convicted murderers, to succeed and prosper. I don't want to see them fighting the feds on buttons or ladder cases and wasting valuable time behind bars. Not only is it not worth it, so many people actually look up to the Leafs and the little bucks of the world. So it's Saudi Leaf fire, to see bro. them having the that opportunity to tough. win, but ultimately getting caught in the same precarious situation like so many before them, fighting for their freedom against a system that clearly does not have their best interests in mind. All the, f All the Philly rappers still out. I don't care what you claim, who you beef with. I don't care. Just please be safe, man, and just get that shit up, man. Give it up. Give it up. Feds want to do is obviously their job, but also it gives them extra satisfaction making a rapper sit down and to humble him a little bit. I also saw that Leaf's bail is like 1.5 million or something. Could someone in the comments please tell me how common that is for a bell on a federal gun case to be that high? I yeah, it's 1.5 million and then uh, to 10% for the bell. I really have no idea how common that is. But that's where we're at. That's where I'll leave it at for now. Thanks for watching American Confidential. Until next time, be safe. Tops. My driver bustin' Philly, I ain't worried about no cops Get my little niggas crops, they flip twice, I drop peas on them Little niggas actin' like they would it, put my C's on them If you been alive a long time, we put some cheese on them We gon' burn the V's, every time we put some B's on them She gon' help me body something, I'ma get her body done That was us Leave fuck Juan, he just said he was getting 30k a show. I wonder if he helping, helping him. They claim they was brothers. You my man. Philly niggas don't help each other. Yo. All the young niggas making drill music. It's, it's cool to make. It's fun. It's hot. It's hot. It sound nice. That's why you get popularity from it. But it's just so much that come with it, man. Just find something else to do. Find something else. Shit not cute. And I don't really care if you bitchin' cause I meet Rogers. I'm like, no. Like so I'm just vending a song I cut niggas who had egos I don't care if I seem wrong